What is up my Butter Biscuits? Within today's video, we're gonna be talking about Charlotte Tilbury and Michaela Nogueria, as well as other influencers on TikTok, because it seems that Charlotte Tilbury sent out a big old lipstick PR package and it was supposed to come with lipsticks, like the whole package itself is literally a big old lipstick. And then inside of it, the lipsticks were missing. All the slots were there, but then they were empty. Michaela was the first one to actually post a TikTok and call them out, like, what's going on here? And then other influencers did it. But then Charlotte Tilbury is kind of like feeding into it right now and kind of like making it seem like it's a little bit of an ad, like that was meant to be on purpose. But I'm getting so confused because I've been following this over the past couple days because I'm like so interested in this to see if like, oh, this was a marketing strategy. That's what I was thinking. But then now I'm seeing other influencers who did receive the big old lipstick package that actually had the lipsticks inside of it. So I was like, wait, so is this not a marketing strategy? Was this not part of their plan? And they're just kind of like soaking it up a little bit for attention because Michaela's video actually went viral. It has literally almost 11 million views on it. Also too, before jumping into the TikToks and everything, I'm going to be showing you guys all within today's video. I'm so confused. If any of you guys happen to know, I wanted to read some of the comments from Michaela's video um, within today's video. And I was like, so confused that her comments are flooded with like, oh, Bison would love this. Bison would love this. B-I-S-A-N. And I'm like searching it. And I'm like, what does that mean? I have no idea. But like, literally, they're flooded with that comment. So I'm like, what's going on there? If any of you guys know, please let me know because I'm being super, super nosy. So we're going to be talking about that within today's video. So if you guys are interested, of course, go ahead and keep on watching. Do not forget, I have a new podcast channel. It'll be linked down below as well as my travel channel. And um, I know that I keep on like saying this, but I like, it's my 2024 resolution. I don't think I've told you guys for 2024. I'm going to try to get up on my short form content. I am going to be dedicating myself because I feel like this is going to be like my last year of like really trying with social media before I just like decide to just call it quits, you know, and just get a regular old job, even though that's not what I want to do. Like I want social media to be my career. I am going to try my hardest this year to make short form content. So I literally have TikToks for all like my pages and I really do want to try my hardest to create short form content. And I don't know why for some reason and I'm just keeping it so real with you guys. Maybe the passion will come throughout time, but I just don't have the passion for short form content. I just love long form content. I feel like even on my travel channel, like y'all, I have, I would say maybe about 80 TikToks already like in my drafts for my travel channel. And I don't know why for some reason I just have way more passion putting into the work of the long form content, but then like nobody really watches it, do you know? And I know that on TikTok things get way more views. So I am going to try my hardest this year to even make like clips for my podcast as well as make clips for my travel channel and then even do like drama videos on my main um, TikTok. So if you guys are interested in short form content, I'm going to really try this year. I know that I like always say that and then I'll be up on it for like literally like two weeks and then I'll be over it. But I just really feel before I call it quits on social media that I do have to give it a fair shot and like really try short form content because I know that's what people are like gravitating towards, you know, and I just feel like I'm so stuck in my old mindset of like, oh, I like YouTube better. Like YouTube is my main platform and this is just where I have, I don't know, the most passion for and I like really like making long form content rather than, you know, one minute content. But I do need to switch it up. I know obviously times are changing and I know that I need to like go with the time. So even though my podcast, um, oh, by the way, my podcast, we upload every single Wednesday travel channel every single Sunday, but I am going to be trying my hardest to make clips and stuff like that for Instagram reels as well as for TikTok. So do keep your eyes out over there. But um, yeah, make sure you guys go show some love. The links will be down below. I'd appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get into it. So I do want to go ahead and start this off by playing the first TikTok that I did see about this situation, which is Michaela Nogueria's. I think that this actually went viral because a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, like I'm surprised that she's putting it out there. But then I do think like, okay, honestly, as soon as I started seeing more influencers come out with this, I was like, oh, so this is like set up to be this way because it's so crazy before when I was on Colourpop's PR I want to say it was like a Karouche collection or I forget exactly what collection it was that like there was literally half the products missing I was like oh that's weird because there's all these slots for these other products inside this like little box that it was in and then some things were missing I hit them up and then they sent it out I thought it was like oh okay it's just an accident you know I find it to be a little bit weird though that these PR packages that they're sending out are massive, like super huge, and it's all about lipstick. So I did find this to be a little bit weird that you're sending out a full new lipstick collection with reds and pinks, but then they're missing, you know? So I do want to say at first when I saw Michaela's, and I'm just keeping it so real, I'm not being like one of those harsh critics or anything, because honestly, like I've told you guys before, I do like Michaela's videos, but then as time goes on, I'm like, like, I don't know, I just feel like she overhypes everything, and I feel like she just she's very animated. She obviously 
obviously has a online persona and I really do feel like she just hypes things up. Do you know what I mean? Like say for example, like, oh y'all, I hate to say this too, but Nikki Tutorials, like when she puts on a foundation, oh, oh my God, oh, oh my God, like freaking out. Like they feel like they need to like over hype it. The more that I was seeing about the Charlotte Tilbury stuff, I was like, oh, Michaela was like in on the joke. Like, you know what I mean? Like this is meant to be a marketing strategy. This is meant to get views and clicks and then they're going to have like a separate package or something. I was thinking that at first when I did see more and more people coming out about this. And then I'm going to play another TikTok too of this girl that I had never seen before too because her video was getting a lot of traction too. And I was like, okay, I don't know her. I don't know how she is, but it seemed like she kind of was like, acting it up you know what i mean so i was like okay is everybody in on the joke but then the more that i was seeing of it i was like wait what other people are getting the package but anyways go ahead and check out this michaela tiktok right here what the heck did charlotte tilbury send me holy shit what the hell is happening this is the size of me this is the most insane thing i've ever gotten in pr what is inside of this holy fuck this is like the most beautiful shit i've ever seen i don't even i don't even want to touch this Holy crap! Wait, this just took a turn of events. Mine is empty. Mine is empty. Is this a mistake? I don't know what's happening. Like, there's all these pockets for new lipsticks, and they're all empty the whole thing. What is going on? <laughs> That's sad. So as you guys can see from right there, the main product that is meant to be launching, which is obviously the lipsticks, is missing. So I totally understand that this could happen, you know. But then Charlotte Tilbury started posting things about it too, like doing a little investigation. They made it super, super cute, like kind of seeming like, um, what's that, like Pink Panther? You know, that like Pink Panther music is like playing in the background. So it makes it seem like it's like meant to be this way. It's meant to be a little bit of a mystery of what happened to the lipsticks. But then I'm just kind of like, oh, maybe they're just like feeding into it and like making a joke about it. You know, there is another girl. Um, her name is Emily with an E, I think it is. Yes, Emily with an E. She got a PR package too. I actually have never seen her before on TikTok, but her video got a lot of views too. And look, like I said, I've never seen her before, so I don't know her like personality or whatever, but I was like watching this and I was like, okay, this seems like it's meant to be like a little bit of like our little reenactment. Like it's meant to be like, I don't know. To me, I got the vibes that she was acting. I don't know if I'm tripping. I'm gonna play it for you guys in just a second so you guys can tell me your opinions on it. The whole reason why I'm saying this is because I thought, oh, Charlotte Tilbury probably let them know like, hey, it's a little bit of a mystery. Like this is their marketing strategy. You know what I mean? This is my first initial mindset, especially because Charlotte Tilbury is doing all these TikToks of having their employees like, you know, searching for the missing lipsticks and they have like the case files of the missing lipsticks. You know what I mean? So I thought, oh, this is all part of the marketing. But then we're going to get to it later on in the video that other influencers are actually receiving the PR box with the lipsticks in it. So I'm like, what's going on here? Anyways, go ahead and check out this TikTok. <laughs> Okay, so I see the lip liners are here and there's pink and red lipsticks. So let's open the first one and try it out. We have the first pink. Wait, did I drop it? Wait, there's not a lipstick in here. Wait, okay, wait. What the? Am I bugging out? There is no lipsticks in here. Okay, so please let me know right there, like, if I'm tripping, but it just kind of seems like she's, you know, I don't know, acting. That's just me. That's just my little opinion, you know? And I do want to say, too, that actually Charlotte Tilbury did stitch their TikToks, Michaela Nogiris and the Emily with the E, and they did make, like, videos to it. So I was like, okay, this obviously is just kind of like a marketing strategy. This seems like it is, you know, just meant to be, I don't know, like, a little bit of a marketing scheme to, like, get people excited and, like, oh my gosh, what's the mystery of the missing lipsticks? But then, at the time of me going to film this video I actually um, was going on to TikTok and I searched Charlotte Tilbury and there's another influencer out there who is named Danielle and she received the package too and she actually had all the lipsticks in it this is where I got super confused because I was like really thinking like oh this is all part of the marketing strategy which I'm gonna be so honest with you guys if I received this really cool big old lipstick container in PR and then it didn't have the lipsticks in it I low-key would be a little bit upset because I'm like what's the point of wasting that whole packaging and then not having lipsticks in it? You know what I mean? Like, I just found that to be, like, a little bit weird, but then I thought, like, oh, I don't know. It's, like, a little gimmick. It's a little game or whatever, you know? But go ahead and check out this other influencer right here who actually received the product. Charlotte Tilbury sent me a giant lipstick. These are the new Hollywood Beauty Icon lipsticks, so let's try them out. The packaging is so beautiful. It comes in this pink chrome shade. Here are all the pinks. They smell so good. Now it's time for the reds. I love makeup so much. This packaging makes me so happy the first shade we have is hollywood vixen so as you guys can see from right there she actually received 
the PR. So this is where I'm like, okay, I really thought this was all marketing at first. I thought like, oh, this is all part of the game. And then I'm like, oh no, clearly she got it. Other people got it. So I'm like, um, what's going on here? So I guess maybe Charlotte Tilbury thought it would just be a little bit fun to like play into it. Do you know what I mean? But I do have to say, nonetheless, this really did work out in Charlotte Tilbury's favor. Cause now obviously there's millions of people seeing that Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with new shades of her lipsticks, which by the way, y'all already know how I am. Like I just feel like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are just over priced in my opinion i love charlotte tilbury products you guys know i'm absolutely obsessed with her setting spray and her foundations i feel like they are really really great but i just feel like the lipsticks are just really pricey nonetheless i really do feel like this was really a good marketing strategy even if it wasn't intended to be because now obviously everyone's like what the hell is going on here you know what i mean anyways make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about it when you guys first saw those tiktoks like did you guys feel like the influencers were like in on it because honestly if you guys watch michaela's videos you guys know that like i don't know she comes across to me as like an actress you know what i mean so i'm like sometimes I'm like, okay, I don't know if like, you know, things are like overly hyped or like what, like, I don't, I was like, oh, maybe she's just like hyping it up, but really she knew the actual like product was going to be coming or something. I don't know. Make sure you guys let me know about that because I really am curious because I thought at first like, oh, this is a whole marketing thing. And then seeing people actually get it. I'm like, oh, maybe it's not. Anyways, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.